Hey, I'm Sam and I do design and in the video today, I'm not doing any design. That's because I am at the design center in Chelsea Harbor because British Marine has been kind enough to invite me along to the Super Yacht UK Young Designer Competition being hosted at the Super Yacht Design Forum. Universities sign up to take part in the competition and they send the students that they think have the best chances of winning. The competition is judged by industry leading professionals and the winner receives two weeks at Pendennis Shipyard and two weeks at Olesinki Limited Design Studio. This year the brief was to design an environmentally friendly boat inspired by James Bond. Chris, thank you very much for joining okay. me. So last year you were part of the competition and you won it. I was, yeah. Well, <laughs> fortunately enough I did. <laughs> last year the competition was in the XL Arena um, where they had like a boat show going on so it's really interesting. Great seeing it here in the design centre, it's a perfect place for it. Um, and yeah, I was mega nervous, as you would be, like all, just the, all the students just left university or just leaving. It's like the first real thing we've probably done outside of university and that's the same for when I did it. It was brilliant. It's, um, I suppose as a designer you're always looking for that thing that makes you stand out differently from everybody else. But really I was saying to the guys up there, it's all about what you learn from it and gaining experience and meeting new people. So yeah, it's been really helpful. We just got back from lunch and everyone is back underway sketching. So this is the second half of the day and now there is no breaks until they finish sketching and go home at the end of the day. So let's go and see what they're up to. James Bond inspired, so I wanted to have it sort of transform into something new. So I've decided to have a yacht which would then sort of split and turn into a catamaran. At the moment, doing some James Bond yachts, um, kind of the forms I'm going for at the moment are trying to really extenuate kind of the speed form of, um, of the yacht. Um, I'm also trying to play around with kind of the, the gadget side of it and really accentuating those features. I've got to be honest, I got the idea quite early on. But then from then it's, it's quite complicated because I'm doing a catamaran which has got two holes. So it's difficult to draw in that uh, respect. In the afternoon I held an Instagram live session and I was lucky enough to speak to some fantastic guests. So my name is Leslie Robinson, I'm the CEO of British Marine and we're the trade organisation that looks after leisure marine, super yacht and small commercial in the UK. What are you most excited about the event of the next few days? It's actually, I think, seeing these young designers creating. And the James Bond theme is fantastic, but actually seeing their creativity and looking at how they're incorporating an environmental twist into how you sustain the super yacht industry going forward, I think is fantastic. So what do you think the future is of the super yacht industry in the UK in particular? Well, overall, I think it's pretty bright. I think it's, it's had growth now for the sixth consecutive year overall, and that's about £700 million worth of contribution. Um, and also, actually, in terms of design, it's the third leading uh, designer in the world. So it's fabulous. My name is James Ward. I'm the owner and managing director of Marine Resources. Uh, we're a recruitment company uh, specialising in the super yacht and uh, leisure marine industry. And one of the areas that we recruit for uh, is on the design side. Marine Resources, we, we really want to support um, the next generation of talent in all the areas that we recruit for. So um, to be able to kind of help out with this event and be in this fantastic venue with these brilliant um, students uh, you know, for the final is really good. Hi, I'm Stephen Hills. I work at Pendennis Shipyard in Cornwall and I'm here today as one of the judges for the Super Yacht, UK Super Yacht Designers Competition. What type of thing are you looking from the students in the, in the competition over the next two days? Fresh ideas, um, well delivered, um, lots of innovative thinking and um, enthusiasm. My name is Cara Finlay, I'm from Plymouth University, um, third year. I just I study design and makeup, which is more furniture in that kind of field, but today we're uh, drawing yachts. What are you in this to win? What are you most excited for if, if you win this competition? Well, the networking and the experience, the travelling and everything. Like it's just it's, it's a whole other world and not anything which I've sort of considered mm. like going into a career in, but I've always been interested in it. So it's just sort of opening that possibilities and that sort of thing. My name is Joe Morris. Uh, I studied uh, in Swansea 
uh, Automotive and Transport Design at UWTSD. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at JM Design. So when exactly did you find out about the brief? Have you had weeks to prepare for this? Have you, when, when um, did you find out? So, well, a couple of us didn't know right. until last night there was some rumors going around okay. and then we come in this morning and it was official. So yeah, obviously everyone loves James Bond. So, mm -hmm. so this is like a big challenge for us all. Um, a new experience and then obviously you get to have this whole two day experience, which is really good. New contacts. Um, so I think over the two days got to take away that. So the students have been sketching now for about an hour or an hour and a half and we're going to take a really quick break because we have a lecture from Arthur Mimo Mani, the architect behind the Burning Man 2018 spiralling sculpture and I can't wait to go and listen. Arthur spoke about using algorithms and AI to design structures as strong as possible with as little material as possible. And a big takeaway from the talk was how the use of AI in design can actually free the designer to focus on other critical elements in the process as well. The theme towards the end of the talk covered collaborations in design spanning technology and craftsmanship, business and engineering, and the Burning Man sculpture was constructed by around 130 volunteers over the course of two weeks. And Arthur said that it was a cathartic experience to let go of the sculpture and let the festival goers take over and make it their own. He was also relieved when they finally burnt it down and the process meant that nothing was left behind and everything was cleared away just as the festival is meant to be. We're in the sketching room right now, but a lot of the students have gone to check out the rest of the show. So while they're gone, I'm gonna sneak around and check out their work and see what they've been up to on the first day. So we have some plan views here, which is very nice. And then moving into more of a perspective going on. And we have actually, I really like this sketch with which has uh, got some scaling because it's also got a smaller boat in there too, which I really like as well. Then we have here, uh, I like the line work on it, the notes as well, I really like. Uh, but not, let's not forget that everyone's got like five pages or, or huge sheets of work so far. This person we spoke to earlier on said they're gonna do an interior scene, which I guess they're starting here. The final sketch for that interior coming along nicely. And there are just sketches everywhere you look. These students have been churning out sketches. A lot of people are still in this half of the room. All of this work. It is the end of day one and I haven't done any designing today at all, but I am so tired. I can't imagine what the participants, the students are going through. Everyone has gone in for some drinks now. We're gonna do a networking session, which is always fun. So let's just go and relax and we'll come back tomorrow fresh after the drinks. <laughs> We're on our way to day two of the event. Are we feeling fresh after yesterday? No. No, we'll see after another coffee. But it's day two and after the ideation stage that the students were doing yesterday, today is the day that they're gonna start on their presentation sketches. So I'm really excited to see what they come up with. So I'm Dimitris Hachdimos, I'm, my company is DID, we are a small boutique interior design business. I think meeting a brief uh, is a very crucial 
uh, part of superior design. So obviously the brief usually starts with the client and the client sets the parameter of um, you know what he envisaged she, he envisaged her, her or his yacht to be. <laughs> and, uh, and so I think meeting the, 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 the brief is, 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 is very, very important, but also um, building up, building ideas up on the brief. Uh, parameter is also very important because you don't want to only just meet the brief but you also you want to surprise the client in the end and uh, engage them with your ideas. Hi I'm Stephen Hills from Pendennis Shipyard in Cornwall where I'm the commercial director and head of design. The competition for me at day two is just great to see the designs getting nearer to their final presentation and I'm looking forward to hearing the students tell us about their designs when they each do their individual presentations. Hi, I'm Justin Olesinski from Olesinski Limited on the Isle of Wight. Uh, we're a design studio. Uh, we've got about 30 designers, naval architects. They're all getting close to the, um, the final fin grand finale where they're uh, going to be judged at about uh, one o'clock this afternoon. And uh, no, it's really good uh, to see all the designs evolving and um, there's a lot of hard work going on behind us. So I think, I think in this day and age, it's essential that all design projects have some kind of uh, context in an environmental sense. So it's logical to add that into the James Bond theme. And also we wanted to kind of counterbalance some of perhaps the more kind of negative excess connotations that there are with James Bond and give it a, a kind of green, green theme and say, look, this is actually an environmental th uh, philanthropist's boat. And so give the give the boat some context in that sense as well. Okay guys, we're gonna sit down now and we're gonna design ready to go and start the The students had to present their work in front of a panel of judges as well as all of the other participants and the cameras that were running around as well and I was part of that problem so I really didn't help with the pressure. So the students are now giving their presentations. I've stepped out of the room just for a little bit just to say how impressed I am with how they are coming across to industry professionals who are judging their work. Their presentation skills have been amazing. So I'm going to run straight back in so I don't miss any more. We've had two days of sketching. I've done nothing but film. Like, I haven't done any design work, but I'm so tired, so you guys must be really tired as well. Uh, how did it go for you guys? I mean, we're waiting on the results at the moment, right? We've finished all the sketching, uh, the judges have been talking, and we're waiting on the results. How do you guys think it went? Started off quite a bit rocky, but I managed to pick myself up and produce something which I'm quite happy with. It was quite a, an interesting experience because I mean, some of us have never done this, well, most of us have probably never done this before. So it's, it's a different area of design that has challenged us and I think it was a really good experience. I want to say thank you to all of the guys that have supported us and uh, given us this great opportunity. So I come from like a product design background. So trying to design something from like, like my last project was an alarm clock. So going from an alarm <laughs> clock straight into a 50 to 70 meter yacht was uh, quite, a, quite an experience, that's for sure. Yeah. I only did one uh, yacht design project for my minor, but this has been great fun. You know, so I've, I've found um, there's some things that I was using in that minor project that I've been able to take over for this. But um, it's still been such a new experience because of course that was, that was just like a, a normal sailing boat. It was, it was just a sailing boat at the end of the day. It was this, you know, we've managed to really, really challenge ourselves. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
And with the two days coming to a close, it was finally time to bring the entire forum into the awards giving ceremony, which is where we could crown the winner of the competition. With real world work experience on the line, it was all to play for. And I am so happy that British Marine invited me along to find out who won firsthand. After two days of sketching, I cannot stress enough how impressed I am with the students that took part in this and congratulations to James for winning as well with an amazing design. I hope to catch up with James in the future after his placements and as always guys, if you learned anything in this video, don't forget to comment down below because I love hearing how I can help and I love hearing how I can improve it as well. So don't forget to leave a comment like subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that youtube asks you to do and i will see you guys in the next video bye